Hi, this is Tiaka. Thanks for joining us today. Meditation music, guided meditation and positive affirmation quotes are an amazing way to de-stress during these crazy times. Please enjoy the following video from today's spiritual guide, Kabukai Tuahine Fredrickson, Oracle and Intuitive Card Reader. We invite all divine healers, spiritual seekers and light workers who work with angels, fairies, unicorns, elemental realms and ancestors to join our group. Today's reading is delivered with healing messages from spirit to you through tarot and oracle card readings. Please enjoy and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel to listen to more amazing guides from Kapotahi to Ahine, Fredrickson, Oracle and Intuitive Card Reader. Hi everyone! How's your Monday? The, the, the start of a new week. Some people just suffer from uh, Monday-itis, but um, hang in there uh, because before you know it, uh, Friday will be, on, be upon us and how was your weekend? Pretty good I hope. Alright, moving on. Uh, thank you for um, supporting Pick a Card Monday and we're ready to get started. So for those of you who chose card number one, this is your card and it says Aura. My apologies that the card is coming through backward. Hey mana aroha. Okay, Aura. And the word below aura is observation. So I'm going to take a look in the handy dandy guidebook and see what the guidebook has to say for all of you. All right. Wake up to what really is going on around you. Take a good long look at yourself and at others. For all is not what you have painted in your mind. There are underlying reasons for certain people in your life acting as though they have your best interests at heart although they are actually not always sweetness and light hi Anne. this wake-up call serves you well and asks you to look at areas of your life where you could improve things deepen investigation into situations you have previously skimmed over become the observer watch and learn notice every detail on a person's mannerisms and energy and soon you will be able to determine the bigger picture and all that you witness observe well and the subtle truth will emanate clearly for you to determine sometimes with messages it always uh, brings on something else that we need to be aware of okay so there is an extra extra message in this in this um, card always ask the question is this for my highest good you will witness something important become more aware of signs and symbols that spirit brings brings you Try to see the good in others. You have a gift for sensing and seeing auras. Okay, so what this card basically means is while others uh, seem to say, oh, you should do this, I think this is good for you, I think you should try this, um, you know, sometimes it comes from a place of well being. Um, and they do, you know, good friends do usually do look out for you, but sometimes what works for them doesn't always necessarily work for you. So trust yourself, okay, and trust spirit and take a good look at things because when you have the gift of being able to see energy, feel energy, um, touch it even, uh, I think you'd be surprised that that is spirit knocking on your, knocking on your soul and uh, trust, trust in spirit. Okay, so that's your first card for the ladies who chose card number one card number two all right i think this says i think you pronounce this shag guy shaggy not sure how this is pronounced and i don't even know where this word comes from but anyway these are for uh, ladies who chose card number two and the word underneath it is fragmented okay so i'm going to read uh, from the guidebook about what this word means I want to say shagai, like but it's probably wrong. Okay. The worst is behind you, and you can begin to breathe deeply, knowing you will never have to go through the same difficulties again. A place of such uncertainty that it left you feeling that all you cared for was torn from you, last, lost forever. It hasn't been easy at all to gather what little strength you had left, but sometimes we must undergo a journey of turmoil to find the haven of peace on the other side. 
So know now that you are safe to release your sorrow and allow your tears to cleanse away your hurt. As though gathering back your scattered shagai bones, your heart will knit together and you will soon feel whole again. Okay, so again, sometimes there could be um, other, um, other meanings uh, to a card that we need to be much more aware of. Okay, a situation is healed. Time to pick up the pieces and move on. Quit playing the victim. Don't be ruled by your emotions. Focus on a positive outcome. Give yourself time and permission to heal and grieve. Happiness awaits. So again, a lot of us have been uh, struggling uh, ever since the world has come to a whole other place and a lot of us are still trying to find our feet. What we used to know and how our lives were before has changed and we have been forced into rethink, redo, reshape our lives and some of it is shattered for lack of a better way. We're shattered by being out of control. We're shattered by being forced into doing things that we would that we've never done before. But also this is, you know, regarding your soul. So while so while whatever has been going on with you, you may feel shattered, you may feel fragmented. Hold on, all is not lost, okay? And maybe it is a time for you to actually quit um, playing the victim and uh, take a look at where you are and the direction that you feel like you need to go toward. Okay, so pick yourself up, dust off your shoes and keep moving forward and make sure you move forward with spirit. You can't lose, okay? And the last card for Pick a Card Monday, for those of you who chose card number three, smoke. Okay. And the word underneath that is prayer. All right, so let's take a look in our handy dandy book. This is what the book says. I'm still trying to get used to this deck, which is why I'm leaning, leaning to, um, and it's a whole other, whole other thing that I'm uh, learning. Smoke. Whether you have given your prayers up to God, the goddess, great spirit, or to whomever aligns with your beliefs, be assured your prayers have been heard and are answered. Uh, still, you are required to have patience. It may seem as though you have been waiting an age to receive the results you have asked for, but you must allow everything to unfold naturally. Like smoke rising from a fire pit, to bring it all about, things invisible to you must take place in the background. So even though you may be impatient to see results, have faith and trust that everything is in divine order. Positive anticipation is appropriate because you will receive what you are hoping for or something even better. Okay, so what this card basically means is don't give up on spirit. Spirit will never give up on you. Keep praying for the things that, you, um, that you've been praying for. It might have taken a year. It might have taken two years. But the hardest thing that we as human beings um, uh, find it difficult to swallow is we have to wait for answers on spirit's time and not ours. That's really difficult because we want answers like last week or last year. And when we're not, when we're not given our answers ASAP, uh, we usually throw a wobbly. Uh, I'm one of them sometimes, depending on what it is that I'm asking for. So be patient. Whatever it is that you've been praying for, don't give up. Uh, because spirit will never give up on you. Okay, so this is what this uh, card is basically saying. And there's an extra, extra message here. Prayers will help with this situation, whatever you're going through. What you have asked for will come about and soon. Ask and it is given. Be patient. Daily prayers will enhance your connection with the divine. Keep a prayer list for those in need of help and healing. Okay, so sometimes when we go through life, um, expecting changes and visible, um, but it has to happen in front of our eyes to know that uh, what you ask for is right there. When we don't see it, naturally we start to think, am I saying something wrong? Am, did I say that right? What your heart says, spirit already knows. It may not come out the same way in your, through your mouth, but at the end of the day, your heart all, is already talking to spirit. Okay? So don't give up on your prayers. Keep going. Keep moving forward. Okay, ladies. So thank you for, for those ladies who tuned in. Shena, Mishena, Claudia, Aroha. Sorry, I miss you. Jan, Anne, 
And mana aroha. Thank you, ladies, for tuning in for Pick a Card Monday. It's always good to um, see you ladies come on and, and listen to the review for those of you who chose today. And even if you, you know, thought, oh, I chose number one, but I really like the sound of number three. Sometimes, you know, messages can, can kind of all all go together, depending on where what you think and uh, uh, what sits on your heart. Okay, so ladies, thank you once again. Thank you for uh, supporting Pick a Card Monday. I absolutely adore all of you. Blessings be upon each and every one of you. And take one step at a time. And don't forget to breathe and smile. Okay, bye ladies. <laughs>